Welcome to Idea Statica, and thank you for downloading the trial version. We hope that during the next 14 days, you will also discover its unique features and the productivity gains from using it in your design workflows. To help you out, we prepared this short video that guides you through the interface and the main sections of the software. Please have in mind that our support team is here to help you with any questions you might have during the trial. Now, if you have already installed the software, you probably see a shortcut in your desktop that looks like this. This opens the main Idea Statica application from where you have access to all the individual applications, such as Idea Statica Connection, Idea Statica Detail, and so on. If you want to explore more learning material, such as tutorials, user guides, FAQs, etc., you can click this link that will take you to our resource center. So, let's open Idea Statica Connection. When creating a new project, Idea Statica guides you through an intuitive wizard so that you can quickly find the geometry that is closer to your project. Of course, you can always create a blank project so that you build your connection from scratch. First, you select the class, meaning what type of connection you have. Then, the topology. And finally, the detailed design of the connection. Just before you create the project, you can also define several parameters, such as the design code, the materials, etc. Now click on Create Project. And that's it! So, let's go through the main sections of the interface. On the top side, you'll find the dynamic ribbon, which is displaying tools for the five different tabs. The Design tab is where you create and edit all the elements of the connection. The Check tab is where you evaluate the results of the analysis. The Report tab is where you define and export the output of the project. And the Material tab, the list of cross-sections, materials, etc. Pretty easy, right? Now, other parts of the interface that are important is the list of all the elements that you have used in the project, such as the members, the loads and the manufacturing operations. If you click one of these, on the right panel you will see the properties and you can easily make changes. And, of course, if you want to navigate through the 3D model, you will find all the tools in the upper side of the main window. The navigation cube, the solid, transparent and wireframe model of the connection and other view settings. Now, let's go ahead and make some additions to this connection. In the ribbon, we can find the three possible types of elements that we can create. A member, a load and an operation. So, firstly, I'm going to add a member and through its properties, I can define the correct position. Then, I'm going to add a force in the existing load effect. We can, of course, add a new load effect, or we can even import load effects from an Excel file or an existing project. And finally, I'm going to connect this member with the main beam by using a new cut operation, which also creates automatically the weld. And that's it! The connection is ready to be analysed. After the analysis is finished, we can go to the Check tab, where we can see the overall check that basically says if the connection has passed the checks. We can look deeper into the results for the elements of the connection, such as the plates, the bolts and welds. In the ribbon, we can also find different analysis results such as the strain check, the equivalent stress and the plastic strain that are visualised on the 3D model. Finally, we can go to the Report tab where we can export the detailed output to PDF or Word. Of course, we have the option to enable or disable different sections of the output depending on the needs.
Now it's time for you to try creating your own project. And don't forget, if you need any help during the trial, feel free to send us an email at support at ideastatica.uk. We are always glad to help. Thank you for watching this and have fun with Idea Statica.